setter is the brain of the team. Without good setter, you can't expect a good team performance. But how can you become good setter? What you should know? I have for you several simple advice how to improve your setter skills and way of thinking to win more often. Hi, I'm Jerry Popelka, Volley Country founder. I'm speaking about volleyball advice, tips and exercises on this YouTube channel. Subscribe to our channel and don't miss any tip or advice for you. Many coaches are building teams uh, around setters and setter is the most important player of these teams. I completely agree with this approach. You know that uh, to become good setter or learn how to set is not easy and you need to master many skills. Setter has to set to attackers to all possible positions. He must have the best technique and skills to lead the team. That's why I have for you several advice how to become good setter which will help you to improve your performance of your team. Precision and accuracy is very important for setters. It's better to set the same set all the time than if the sets are every time different. Imagine that you are spiker, you receive well, setter will set you fast set to position 4 and you score a point. Next time you receive again well, you are expecting fast set, same as the last time. But setter will give you high sets out of the net. You won't be ready for this set, you have to slow down your approach, uh, opponent can form double block and at the end there is a bigger chance that you won't score a point. And what kind of set uh, should you expect next time? You will be in doubts. So, when you are a setter, it's better to set always same kind of the set to particular position when you are developing your skills. Once you master basic sets, uh, then you can start, learn, practice and use other kind of sets. It mustn't be known where I am setting. It means that your opponent shouldn't know where will you set. And it depends a lot on your body position. If you lean forward, everybody will know that your set will aim in front of you. If you lean backward, it's clear that your set will fly behind you and your opposite can expect a compact double block. It's not easy task to learn how to hide the set. It's not easy task to set always in neutral position. But if you are really willing to be great setter, learn from famous Italian coach Roberto Piazza in our online volleyball course for setters. More details about ideal body position for setters. Setter has to know how his attackers are performing during game and decide when is the right time to set to them. Sometimes you have spiker which was blocked two times in a row, but he is stable in reception, good on serve. So if you are setter, you should not set a next ball to him because he is important for team. You should give him a short rest and set to middle blocker or opposite. Next time you could be in a critical part of the game and you need to score a decisive point. You should know who is performing well, who is making points and set the ball to him. It's great when you are a setter and you are able to set a different kind of sets to all positions if you are creative setter. But more important is the efficiency of your spikers than the beauty of your sets. So you should communicate with them, uh, you should know what kind of sets each player prefers. When is your spiker more efficient in attack? I can set an incredible set super fast to position 4, so there will be no block, but if the spiker can't attack this set, uh, then your team won't score a point. And you know that points are most important in attack. So when you are setting, set the ball the way it suits to the attacker. Then expect from them the points. Try to find weakness in opponent's block. Almost every team has some kind of weakness uh, on the block. One smaller player, one slower middle blocker. Very often this weakness is the smaller setter on the block. Then your spiker should have better chance to score a point when attacking against this setter. You should know about it and give him more sets. Since the setter is the brain of the team, you should play with some tactics, uh, with some attack scheme. Many setters are starting game with sets to middle blockers to hold opponent uh, middle blockers in the middle of the net. Then they start to set to position 4 or 2. Some setters prefer to set to position 4 or to play with specific player. You should know that if you have some kind of characteristics uh, as a setter, if you prefer some kind of set, uh, expect that your opponent will find out your characteristics soon. So be ready to change your team attack scheme during game or tournament. Last advice is not directly associated with setters, it's more for attackers. Before every reception, setter is showing to his attackers what kind of attack uh, they should expect. He has some strategy in his mind. But when we are in the rally, it's important to give feedback to the setter and each attacker should uh, shout loudly what kind of set they want. I remember when I played against uh, famous Sisley Treviso, they had a free ball from our side and I heard quick quick fast. I was under big pressure on block since all these calls meant very fast sets to all positions.
Okay, let's summarize in short these advices. Accuracy is vital. It's better to set same set all the time. If the sets are different, the effectiveness of the attackers will go down. Hide where you set. It mustn't be known where you are setting, keep neutral body position. Analyze your attackers, keep an eye on them and set them more or less balls based on their performance. Set the attackers way. Give them the set they want, then expect points from them. Search for a weak block. Opponent teams have a weakness on the block. Find them, set over there, use this weakness. Determine the best attack scheme. Think how to play against opponents, use different schemes. Expect feedback from attackers. After each defense or in a rally, spikers, middle blocker and opposite should shout what kind of set they want. I believe these simple advice for setters will help you to improve your performance. Don't forget that the setter is the brain of the team, he should also be the best communicator in the team and have good relationship with our players. Moreover, he has to be one of the team leaders. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.